Good afternoon. How are you doing today? It's Middle Age Gamer Guy here. Hello, Tunes. Hello, Mia. Oh, you've been looking forward to the stream all day. Cool. Well, hopefully, I will do it justice. Um, I'm going to put the cheery music on as well. Goes goes very nicely with this. So, uh, hope you're all well. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, uh, we are playing Planet Coaster. Now, Planet Coaster is a game that has been around for couple of years now however just before christmas we talked on it about it on our um talk show it actually came out on xbox just during december it was one of the games we talked about uh maybe it was november actually um but it's one of the games it's only been out for a couple of months <coughs> on xbox but it has been around for a few years um i have very fond memories um just like i do with the the game that i love two point hospital is kind of a, a successor to theme hospital I'm hoping that Planet Coaster is a successor to Theme Park, which was the first kind of game. And it, that was around even before Roller Coaster Tycoon and those types of games come out. So we're going to give it a go. Um, oh, blimey, Mia. Yeah, so it sounds like you, I thought your day at work, you, you need this. So let, let's jump into it. There we go. I'm also going to pop that on the screen. We'll see how it goes. So um, two hour stream today. Uh, and then I'll be back tonight with another short stream. I'll explain why t tonight's one's a short one um, in a little bit. But uh, let's give this a whirl. Sign me in. I say I need to learn how to play this first. I have only looked at a tiny little bit of this um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, but never properly played it. So we're going to basically give it a whirl um, and see what happens. Again, there's ton, I can see there's a ton of DLCs. Uh, if I move my camera, it's down the bottom. You can't see it. There's like an adventure pack, a spooky pack, etc. Um, but uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, oh, wow. There's a load of stuff I've got to do. So we're going to start with Oswald's Park Practice Tutorial. And then you unlock different things. Captain's Lockjaw's Buried Treasures. Princess. Oh, there's a ton of stuff. Right, this is good. Well, we will start with this. Learn the ropes from the theme park maestro himself. So, green pastures. Oh, there's a couple of different things here. Uh, this charming park is the perfect proving ground for budding theme park manager eager to learn the trade. There's plenty of work to be done here, but with a little expert guidance, you'll be up and running in no time. Now, there's a thing there to so start new scenario. So let's do that. And it's going to load it. Yeah, we'll try and make you laugh. We'll, we'll we'll see if I can just make like a really dodgy theme park, uh, or even make a decent theme park. Oh, oh. My, oh my! Is that a budding theme park proprietor I see before me? Possibly. I certainly hope so. Oh, look at this place. Otherwise, you're in quite the wrong place, and none of what I'm about to say will make any sense to you. <laughs> I am Oswald B. Thompson, theme park impresario. And I am here to help you take your first steps in this most exciting of professions. Nice. And because it's a first step, we're starting in a somewhat humble location. A charming little park, which, as yet, has not fulfilled its undoubted potential. A park where you will begin to hone your skills. It does look like they've only got, like, three rides, less than. So... Uh, no worries, Tunes, if you're kind of watching me on the thing, but I'll wave at you. Um, welcome to Planet Coaster. These are the key steps to creating spectacular coaster parks. We're going to build rides and scenery to attract the guests. We're going to charge the guests for using the rides, uh, have shops and other facilities, and use the profits to expand and build even more rides, which is basically like any kind of business. So, no. first things first. You should learn how to navigate around the park. Okay. Moving, rotating, <laughs> zooming. Almost as if you were riding a roller coaster. A massive, invisible roller coaster. Yeah, it's probably very uh, similar. There's, there's quite a few games that are like this. But this is a PC game that's been converted. In here. Well, let's have a look. Look, you've got a nice little entrance. Yeah. Little gardens. We got a uh, big mascot thing with a couple of tickets. I don't know if that's supposed to be a ride or what. 
I've just somehow zoomed in. Uh, is that a ride? There's like ticket booths. Oh, they're arcade machines. That's like a grab machine. And then that one, what's that one? Same sort of thing. Uh, obviously a, a building site. Nothing on there yet. But we have got, and another building site there. Lots of building sites. But we have got a pirate ship. There we go. And then looking over around here, we have got a fair big, this looks like a, some sort of house. Don't know if it's a ghost house or what. Um, but this part of the park looks quite done. We've got little dragon here, castle, walk through, and then a little castle ride with some swings. So not much. Look at that. Not much, You've but there you go. An objective. There we go. Objectives are a bit like bosses. They tell you what you need to do, earn more money it is. you, and drive a sports car. <laughs> no, that's not right. Anyway, how about completing another objective? Okay. If I could butt in and make a suggestion, how about you make your next objective opening up literally the only ride in your park? <laughs> okay. Why is it even closed? Oh, hello, Lucy. This is Lucy Summers, one of the most enthusiastic and outspoken theme park fans in the world. She's got almost 800 followers. You know, online. Not in a cult. Wish I had 800 Hi followers. There. And it's 900, but I think it will be theme park in steroids. That's what so I'm hoping for, Tunes. The ride? Ah, yes. Opening rides. Go on, select the ride. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Good. Okay. And now, open the ride. Okay. You did it with such gusto. <laughs> well done. And now that we have such an adorable, gentle ride open, more guests, especially families, will soon be flooding into the park. Okay. You know, you could turn that flood into a bigger flood. This place just needs something a bit more thrilling. Well, if people want thrills, uh, then we same will here. give them thrills. And possibly nausea. <laughs> Head over to the highlighted area. I think it'll make an excellent location for a ride. But let's ask our head engineer, Eugene. Greetings, Eugene Newton. Good to make your acquaintance. And yes, Mr. Thompson, I think it will do nicely. The property I'm liking the characters, I have to say. appears nominal, so guests should be able to achieve both entry and exit, exit. with minimal difficulty. Building rides. New rides can be found in the rides. Don't forget, once built, a ride needs both an entrance and an exit. Once the exit and entrance have been connected to the rest of the park, your guests will be able to ride it. Okay, that makes sense. So, if you would start by clearing the highlighted area of any obstructions, please. And do not fret. Those items will automatically be sold, so we will get at least some of the purchase price back. Okay. Oh, just a word about the radial menu. The radial menu gives you fast access to commonly used actions. Please note that the options available in the radial menu will change depending on the mode. I agree, Mia. Okay, so. Click on that. No? Clear highlighted area. Ah, okay. Ah. Ah. Could delete. Very I'll get eleven dollars for a sign. I've already <laughs> chosen a suitably thrilling ride for you, so if you would care to select it. Okay. Uh which is down there. Oh, that's right. Okay, right. It's a thrill ride. And place it in the designated area. Looks like some sort of teacup ride. It's called the Elixir Machine. Ah, now it's very important that when you place the entrance gate, you make sure to leave enough space so you can build a ride queue. Okay. If I put the entrance there, 
and then the exit. Is that going to go? Well, that's going to have to go there, isn't it? Next up, connecting your ride to the park. Okay. So people can reach it. Guests need uh, paths to reach everything they want to use, like rides and shops. They won't just walk across the grass. The queue is a special path type that allows guests to wait in line before entering a ride. Queues are built from rides entrance and then connect to the other paths in the park. Now, that queue you're building is where guests will wait in line to go on the ride. Alright, what we can have a blue queue path. Let's try that. There we go, done. Very good. Okay. And now you should build a path from the exit gate back to the rest of the park. For that, you can simply use normal paths. Ooh. And if you do find any obstacles or obstructions in your way, you can build slopes or stairs into your path to get over them. Okay. So if I go connecting the queue. Ah, okay. No, 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 no. So I can't do that. So I need to go. Right. Uh, let's have a look. That one makes more sense. Terrain too uneven. Terrain too uneven for placement. Mm. Obstructed. Okay, then hang on then. And finally, you can open the ride. No, no, that's not how we do it, is it, Eugene? Hang on. Apologies, I meant. And finally, you can open the ride. Well, I haven't actually finished the path. That path goes nowhere. Uh... Pass. There we go. That's that done. Right, now we select the ride. Oh yeah, Ta -da. I more like it. You're gonna get way more teenagers like me and my followers visiting the park now. Ah, oh, don't you just love teenagers? Ah, thank you, the Baron. Appreciate that. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to see what this is like and if this is any good. Cynthia Clark, Chief Financial Officer. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're well. Make sure these places turn a profit. Speaking of which, thanks to that new ride, the park's rating has gone up, and you know what that means? Cake. We can start charging the guests more money. Okay, very well. A necessary evil, I suppose. Guess think Magic Castle is cheap. <laughs> evil. Did you see that notification? Even the guests think we're undercharging them. <laughs> okay. Let's do them a favor and fix that. Okay, rides are the main part of the park's income. They earn money through ticket sales, but cost money due to their upkeep. To improve the rides... Profitability. Let's try that again. Uh, its ticket price can be changed. Don't make ticket prices too high, though, as guests may become unhappy or willing to pay. That's right. So, take a good look at the notification. It'll tell you what we need to alter the prices of. Okay. If I click on that one. So, ticket price. Potential monthly profit. Let's make it a tenner. Ten dollars. Okay. Uh, part management. Notifications. Oh, look. Okay. It's that 
family-friendly little ride of ours. Go on, put the ticket prices up by a few dollars. That seems a wee bit steep. Oh, honestly, Oswald. The people visiting this park aren't just getting to ride rides. They're getting to make precious memories. So if we put the ticket prices up, then we're making those memories even more precious. Aren't we? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. That actually makes sense. I know. Uh, theme Park was such a good game, Lower and this is why I wanted to play this. Hello, Blitz. How are you doing? I good to see you. Um, but, but yeah, Baz, I mean, I also love Two Point Hospital, which is, which I've played. I've not streamed that yet, but that's kind of a, a remake of Theme Hospital, and I really love these games. Really love these games. Uh, raise the ticket price. Oh, for the back to 11. Okay. All right. Done. If you're so worried, why don't we have your new underlings select a few guests and see what they're thinking, eh? Underling, indeed. They are oh, hey, look, there's a big queue for it. They're loving it. If I zoom in. Although I just realised I don't know it. <laughs> Inspects free guests' thoughts. So I'm going to click on a guest and see what they think. I'm going to watch these guys, folks, go round on this, though. Here we go. Yeah. Look at that. How cool is that? Is it going to tilt? What's it going to do? Yeah, I mean, Roller Coaster Tycoon's still popular and it's out there. This, to me, is more like Theme Park, which was out way before Roller Coaster Tycoon. And then they brought out Theme Park World, which was a sequel, but I never played that. But this, to me, is like a successor to that. As I said earlier, they brought out Two Point Hospital, which was basically Theme Hospital, but they're not allowed to call it that. Anyway, got to dodge from there. They've got good queue for that one. Let's go have a look at our other little ride. There's queues for this as well. Let's see how this goes. In fact, let's let's go speak to some people. I wish there were more rides. Uh, they would appreciate more scenery by this machine, and the ride was only average. Okay. All right. Let's see what someone else is saying. Let's try someone who's just randomly walking around the park. No. That's not a tr I don't want a tree. I want a guest. Damn it. Come here. I want to go on it. Ah, oh, cheers for the follow, Baz. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Welcome officially to the channel, my friend. Blitz Google's theme park. Mate, you'd like theme park. It's a less serious version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, but you could ride all the rides, and you can ride all the rides on this. Okay, let's go check on someone else. There's no room to queue for Claw Crane Machine. And the Claw Crane Machine looks busy. There are no food shops in this park either. Okay, well, that that's... But the queue for the Magic... Castle is quite quick. Inspect free people's thoughts. Let's go with someone else then. Well, there you I go. didn't see anything to worry about there. Come on, let's just hit fast forward, sit back, and let the money roll in for a while. Starve them. <laughs> I'm not playing The Sims, mate. I'm not doing what I did last time. <laughs> Basically, let my Sims starve. Right, what have I got to do now? Gain money. So I basically got to make $500, which is going to just happen because the money's coming in. So I'll have a look. Could I put the ticket price up on the other ride? Let's see. What is the price of this ride? £8.50. Let's whack it up to a tenner. 
Ah, 950. Let's do it by a quid. There we go. See how much we make. Yeah, as long as you make customers. Because what it was, if you put too much salt on the chips, it made them really thirsty. But then you could be a cheapskate and put loads of ice in the drinks so they only get a tiny bit of drink and tons of ice and charge maximum rates. And it made people really pissed off. So. Right, so I'm halfway, almost halfway there to this goal. Get a load more people on. Hello, Foxy. How you doing, my friends? Good to see you. You're going to watch me torture people in a theme park. <laughs> it's not going to start out like that, but it probably end up will be like that by the time we get to the end of the stream. I will have tortured a load of people. This this one seems very popular. It's going well. Um, seems all good. But it says kill them. Kill them all. Uh, it's insane. Um... But yeah, we'll see, we'll see how we go with this. I say this only came out on Xbox a couple of months ago, but it has been out on PC and a few of us for uh, a couple of years, actually. Um, it's on PlayStation as well. Not sure about the Switch. Um, but this is my kind of thing. So here we go. We've got to make $500 in the first day, and I've done 384 so far. So a couple more people on Rise. Queues aren't that bad. They're not using the whole queue system um feed them all garlic bread i know after last night's conversation <laughs> you want a beef burger well it's garlic bread <laughs> want a cheeseburger garlic burger chicken burger with garlic pizzas garlic flavored pizza pesto and garlic oh god yeah reheated rice discord's not even here uh, apparently he's at the dentist. He's probably ate too much reheated rice. Garlic buns for burgers. I know. Can you imagine? Right, I'm literally like twenty dollars away from hitting my target here, and then it'll probably tell me what else I got to do. So uh, I thought it makes sense to do the tutorial because I wouldn't have a clue what I'm doing on this. Just watching these lovely people go around. Uh, have you a new idea for the summer's barbecue? Let me guess. Does it have something to do with garlic? <laughs> Little dis always opening wide for someone. <laughs> oh, man. That name's going to stick now for him. And he's going to hate it, which is great. Oh, but don't forget to slow things back down to normal speed again. Okay. It's not a good idea to build a park on fast forward. Right, well, let's build a park. On an important notification, or a ride breaking down, or all your staff, staff leaving. leaving, or, heaven forbid, my birthday. Anyway, congratulations. You've just earned yourself a bronze star. Nice. The first of many, I don't... Light stream. No, mate, I don't. I don't even know what that is. Uh, right, okay. Guess in part 375, 5,773 quid in cash. All okay. Right. It's high time we talked about taking care of guests. That'd be nice. The park. We want those guests to be happy, happy, happy. Ooh, you're planning on making improvements? That's good. I did like to say, but part of this place looks like the theme park that time forgot. Streams to Twitch so and Facebook direct from Series X. I'll take things from here Ooh, interesting. My only thing, my only thing is now I have a contract with Twitch. I can't do simultaneous streams. I am tied to a contract which only allows me to stream on Twitch. Um, if I hadn't done affiliate and I knew about that earlier, I probably would have given that a go. Um, but um, I will have a look into it because there might be a, a workaround. Because technically, Facebook gaming is a completely... Uh, that took over from Mixer. Microsoft got rid of Mixer and basically handed everything over to Facebook Gaming. Uh, yeah, give it a go, mate. Let me know what you want to do. It's like um, Professor Stork the other day uh, left Twitch to try Trovo. Trovo was really good for a fair bit, but then they keep upping up the ante because they're losing their backing. So now she's jumped back to Twitch. Um, so let me know what you need. Right. Inspect one guest needs. Let's... Let's go see someone who's just walking around the park. Let's zoom in. Okay. Now that level of 
happiness might be good enough for most parks, but I still there are no drink shops in the park. If a big chunk of the park wasn't super lame, don't worry, it's not your fault. That one's on Mr. Thompson. Okay. I hardly think that's fair. <laughs> Don't forget to immerse your guests in magnificent surroundings. You can place items from scenery browser to improve guest happiness and your park rating. Additionally, improving the queue scenery of a rider will increase that ride's prestige. If you want to build your own scenery creations, piece by piece, you can explore the creative browser. Right, I say. Don't worry, I've highlighted the problem area. Well, it's going to be this on. this ride, isn't it? Some scenery. Make it look all piratey. Okay. So where? Oh, here. You want it to make local pirate. Oh yeah. Us guests love having interesting things to Oops. look at. Cheers us right up. Mr. Point focus. Right. Select the scenery or building piece to the focus point for guests at the Okay. Right, well let's get rid of How do I get rid of this? Cancel. Uh confirm. Select the scenery or building piece. Be the main focus. Uh, that's not it. What am I doing? No, don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, set focus part. Select the scenery or building piece to focus on. Western sign. Okay, that doesn't work. Confirm. Now what? Place three different scenery blueprints. How do I get blueprints? Uh, delete selection. Oh yeah, I've got to get rid of the crap, haven't I? So... That's probably what the problem is. No. Okay. So now... Ah, oh, cheers for the hydrate, dude. <sighs> 1080, 30 frames per second or 720, 60 frames per second. Is that what it offers? Because that doesn't sound very good. Compared to some stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Place three different scenery blueprints. Let's just see Don't what she worry. Said. I've highlighted the problem area. So go on. Stick down some scenery. Ah, Make got it. Look all piratey. Right, okay. So come out of that. Go to scenery. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah. Us guests love having pirate treasure, so pirate back. camp. Cheers us right up. Pirate skull rock. Let's start with a pirate camp. Let's stick the pirate camp by the dock. Pirate treasure. Don't know if anyone's going to see that, but screw it. I mean, no one's going to really see that, are they? That's a bit crap. I'll play. Oh, I, I have to place three different things. I've got no choice. I'll tell you what. Move this one. Uh. Can I move that one? Uh, no. Change that. Move it. There we go. Let's put the treasure down here. And then let's put the scenery. Oh, Bingo. There we go. Nice. That works better. Uh, I don't think yeah, remember when 720 was HD? I know, mate. <laughs> so, another place that's super important to put scenery is around the ride queues. Oh, ooh, you know what? We should compare both of your rides so we can see the difference. Go and select that first ride you opened, would you? Okay, so first ride I opened was over here down here 
Okay. You see how it's got a high Q scenery rating? Uh huh. Because of that, the ride's prestige is higher too. Yeah, get that. Those guests are way less interested in rides with boring queues, and so we won't pay as much to ride them. Right now, go and have a look at that new ride you built. Okay, I bet it's going to be. They're going to slag it off, aren't they? There we go. Okay. Yeah, not good. So that's not nearly as prestigious as it could be. But you can fix that by giving us guests some eye candy to look at while we wait. Mm -hmm. Go on, stick some nice scenery down around the queue. Okay, that's easy enough. So what we got here, got some nice trees, fences, play pots, fairy tale archway. What have we got that's piratey? Fairy tale potions. We need piratey stuff, don't we? That's like medieval. Pirate parrot statue. This is good. Uh, right, okay. Pirate. There we go. Can we stick that? Is that going to go there? There you go. What else we got? Um, some trees. That's a fairy tale traveller camp. An anchor. That would make sense. Get the anchor in the middle. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. What else we got? Oh, no. I don't want a tree. That can sod off. Uh, 24.65%. Oh, so we need one more item ideally. That's pirate related. Pirate cargo. Yeah, like what that? Oh, it's got a little cannon that fires. There we go. And uh, what? How are we doing now? What are people saying? Fifty-three percent. We've got to keep. We've got to keep building stuff. One hundred and forty-four p gang. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, let's have a look. Pirate camp. Took that in the corner there. Uh, let's just keep checking. 54%. It's got to get better. It's got to get better. I'm going to need some stuff nearby. There's, like, there's a pirate here. Maybe put something on this grass. What's that one? Fairy tale fountain. Pirate cannon statue. Firing that like that. Come on, admit it. Isn't that better? There you go. And if you check, I bet you'll see that the ride's Q scenery rating and prestige has gone up as a result. Excellent. That and it has sixty five percent. Raise the ticket price. Go on. Put it up by a few dollars. Ah, oh, heck. I really didn't think this through, did I? Okay. So we're going to make this 11... Oh, no. Christ, they want it to go to $13. Oh, my. Look at all that wonderful new scenery. There you go. Well done. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, by raising this park's scenery rating, I think you might have... Yes, you have. You've raised the overall park rating. And that means more guests will be drawn to the park. Well, let's have a look. Heavens, what an important number, eh? Okay, how popular a theme park is depends on its park rating. Each park has a park rating based on its overall quality. A higher park rating means you'll attract more guests. And those guests will also stay for longer. The main factors which count towards your park ratings are the rides, the scenery, and the average guest happiness. Right. I think it's time we took a look at the park rating breakdown. Okay. It's a great way to track how your park is improving. Okay. Inspect park rating breakdown. So. Overview. Park options. Park is open. That's it. See how your overall ride and scenery ratings and guest happiness are eight all till critical. six. 
to improving your park rating. And remember, the better your park, the more guests who will come and visit. So, let's get that scenery rating even higher, eh? Make the whole park look as wonderful as those rides you spruced up. Go on, get decorating! Hello again. I just noticed that you were using the scenery blueprints to decorate the park. I actually built those blueprints myself, so I'm very happy that you're using them. You can actually find the individual scenery elements, the ones I used to build those blueprints, by looking under the Create browser, if you want to. But, uh, as I mentioned, I did go to the trouble of painstakingly handcrafting lit yeah, yeah, numbers yeah. of them for you, so, you know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> He's just going to rub it in, isn't he? Oh, dear. Okay. We can come out of this. So, we need to raise the park scenery to 50. and We are currently on 44. So, we could probably add some more stuff round near this pirate ride because there's really not a lot going on. We could have put an exit there, actually. Uh, I didn't think that through. Maybe I could make that better. Uh, eh, we'll see. Maybe we get rid of the exit path. Let's see. What else we got? We just put some cannons down, didn't we? A pirate rowboat. Oh, wow, that's huge. Well, if we're not going to use the exit, let's whack that down. Um, that was the anchor. What else we got? Pirate treasure. Go. We're at 46 now out of 50. Uh, pirate flowers. Uh, that should be kind of pirate cargo. Forty-seven out of fifty. Uh, pirate villa. Now, where can we put the pirate villa? Can't put it on the blooming. Put it there. 49 out of 50. We're getting there. Um, a pirate skirmish. Now, we could put that over here, couldn't we? So, like, little pirates that fire cannons. What if we turned it around? Oh, did not mean to do that. Hang on. Let's get that menu back up. Little pirate skirmish. There we go. There we go. Hey, done. Hey, Mia. Has really bumped the park rating up a good few What's my opinion on razor bread? Blimey, you're really putting me through the bread things. Uh, I don't mind it, man. I uh, I have tried that. I don't mind it at all. But I also like things like tea cakes and hot cross buns and other... I know that's not the same, but it's got fruit in it and I'm good with it. The wife doesn't like that sort of stuff, though. So, let's take a look at some of them. Yes, let's. Scoop. Okay. Guests need to tell you how... Guests needs tell you how your guests are feeling and what they need to be happy. Happiness is the most important guest need. Happy guests spend more money and boost the park rating. However, unhappy guests are less willing to pay high prices and are more likely to leave the park sooner. Other needs are energy, hunger, thirst, toilets, nausea. Blimey. If any of these fall too low, they will also lower the guest's happiness. Just remember to full guest needs. The right facilities need to be available to them. Right. If you want to find out what us guests need, one way is by looking at the guest screen in park management. Go on, open it. Okay. Open park management. Go to the guest screen. This is where you can see what the average guest needs are in the park, as well as the most common thoughts that the guests are having. You know, it's weird. I really should think of this thing as a massive invasion of privacy, but I'm kind of okay with it. Yeesh. 
It looks like a lot of the guest thoughts are about how the park is missing important facilities. Huh. Okay, first up, Ooh. food. According to the guest data, we're hungry. Huh. I was wondering what that empty feeling yeah, in Yeah, fifteen percent on a food shop. So go on. Build a food shop for us. Okay. Build a food shop. So we're gonna go to facilities. And we have a fairy tale chief chief beef? Is that like a beef stand? Right, I'm gonna put that. Oh, it's a burger stand. So let's That's the food sorted. But a bunch of us guests are also really thirsty. Thirsty. So you should definitely build some drink shop. Okay. A word of advice. Put your shop somewhere busy so we get the best return on our investment. Mm. Sorry, I mean best serve our guests needs. Okay, blah, blah, blah. well. Oh yeah. Real convincing. Let's put it just outside Magic Castle. Free. We have to turn a profit. Okay, we've got fairy tale gulpy slush. Gulpy soda. Or we have the Oh right. So we got gulpy slush. Uh, how do I turn that round? By advanced rotate. No. Obstructed, so that can't go there. Let's move it. Hang on. Let's move that round. Edit building. That is a bit pointless the way I've done that. Can I delete that? Oh, look, I can delete it piece by piece. That's hilarious. Get all the money back. You think you should just delete the whole thing? That is that is really weird. <laughs> that is kind of weird that you can delete that like that. I need to know how to rotate these things to get me in the right place. Team no garlic bread. Oh, a posture check from the Blitz. Cheers, dude. Right, so we go back to facilities. We're going to get this slushy. Rotate 90 degrees. Ah, oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. Now, we need to build another one. There you go, see the little person in there. Slushy stand. Oh, people are going. That's good. Let's go back to the burger stand and make sure that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Because at the moment, it looks wrong. No one's going to that. We need to edit that. So, oh, I don't want to move... <sighs> Bloody... I want to move that. No, not the street lamp. Edit building. No. No. Say what, just delete the building. Get rid of Mr. Burger. Mr. Burger Buns. Get all my money back. I'm going to rebuild this. Now I know how to put it in properly. Right, so we're going to build a burger. Uh, go to facilities. That's the burger shop. And we're going to rotate that. Boom! Mm, tasty. <laughs> okay. Uh, I deserted from team here after the her hatred for garlic. Bread has become clear. I cannot be in a team with such reckless hatred. You stick with me, Foxy. You stick with me. You'll be good. You'll be good. Don't worry. I've got your back. I've got your back. Right, and we're going to build a soda place. Now, soda place might be a bit more... People are coming in that way. That's perfect there. Get them straight away. Boom. 
My blood sugar was almost down to a healthy level. If you want to make sure that we've got all our needs licked, <laughs> you can look at the guest needs screen again. Okay. Personally, I am absolutely stuffed with both food and drink, so I'm good. Okay. No. <clears throat> with our technique being indelicate, all that food and drink means we have another pressing guest need to attend. Toilets. Yeah, like really pressing. Quickly, build a toilet for the guests. What? A whole toilet? Yeah, one You're toilet. You're spoiling us, Mr. Thompson. Okay. So back to... Is that a fairy tale toilet? Fairy tale toilets. Oh, my God. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's obstructed. Uh, hang on, then. Can't I get rid of... No. Come out of that. That's it, get rid of some of those. Right, now let's build it. Come out. Spin it round. It's still obstructed. Okay, that ain't gonna work. So I have to build my box somewhere else. <laughs> Bogs are going to have to go here then. Fairy tale bogs. You heard it here first. Boom. Fairy tale bogs. You know, toilets are great, but it is Yeah, nice kill that spammer, Mia. Somewhere else to sit down too. Get the spammer. Kill him. Oh, kill him. Yes. Go on. Hop down some B Cooper 0148. Go fuck yourself. You guests are a lot like cellular phones. Every so often they need to recharge their battery. Boom. So you should plug them don't spam my channel. That's not right. Get the fuck out of here. I don't care for spammers. Nice work, Mia. And you've been timed out. Because that's what you get. Hey, hey, oh, how you doing? I was like, get a Mia. Oh, by the way. Hey, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to give a reason. I, I said I told them to get fucked. So that's perfectly good enough reason. Don't worry, Mia. It's fine. Me and the mod, ladies and gentlemen. Keeping us safe from pricks like that. Uh, right, here we go. Um, so, um, what are we doing next? Place five benches. Okay, because people are getting tired. So we need a bench. I've got to go over this way. Change category. Ah, ah, okay, that's how it works. You press that button and then you go to that. Benches. So if we're putting benches down, we want well, we don't really want That's barrels, man, that's not benches. Here we go. Palace Thrones, Village Heart Bench. So let's put a few. Let's go over, put some barrel benches down. And where do these things go? Like, what do you what do you do? So, do you put them? Where do they go? Ah, they go like here. There's one. I put one there. There you go. Right, and then what we'll do, we'll get some other benches. We've got the royal ones, palace ones. Boom. Royal throne. Boom. Now that your guests can fulfil their needs in the park, That's they're great. less likely to become unhappy, which is great. But as more guests come here, you need even more facilities to deal with their needs. More than one toilet? No. Eh? It's quite a lot to think about, isn't it? Plus, the parts... No worries, Mia. Thanks for doing that. And we might start to see problems popping up. <laughs> I think we should look at hiring some staff to keep everything running smoothly. Why, when I'm streaming, is there so many random usernames in the chat? No one's viewing it, though. 
you'll probably find that they're just like dropping in and dropping out so you can see who's on but they're not staying for like longer than a minute so it doesn't class and it does take about a minute each time for your viewer count to change so if it is just randomers uh they, they post one comment and then they piss off you, you'll get that a lot when i started i had a ton of them people just drop in not necessarily spam but just put some random comment and then bugger off um it'll take a while once you've got like people regularly talking like you do on here hail me a foxy tunes everyone who's in here at the moment um then you'll get more that's how, how it kind of works mate so don't, don't be offended by it it's just is what it is as long as they're not spamming you it's not that bad right staff members help to keep a park in good condition staff that you can hire include janitors mechanics vendors entertainers and security guards once hired staff members are automatically paid a monthly salary staff members will only work while they still have energy in their energy bar okay that makes sense but you can raise a staff member's training level or happiness to improve the job that they do staff members require access to a staff building in order to regain their energy and receive chat it's just like theme hospital right okay speaking of problems can you do something about all the litter uh, okay. Up and really bumming us guests out. Right, where's Maybe all this litter? Oh shit, yeah, That's look at this. It. Bastards. Okay, I need janitors. So. Oh, look at the janitor. There he is. Go on. Clean the shit up. Go on, dude. And then where's all the rest of the rubbish? There's rubbish here as well. Fat. Is there a lot of rubbish around? The pirate area is quite clean. That 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 gets me. Uh, let's stick him near the front. Thanks for that. Of course. We need bins. Be such a problem if Mr. Thompson had remembered to put some bins in the park. <coughs> that was deliberate, so we could all have a learning moment. <coughs> so dear, yes, dear. If you would please put some bins down, the new janitors will make sure they're kept empty. Oh yeah, good day. Bins. Okay, so we've got different types of bins. Palace bin, which we'll stick there. Uh, we've got to build five bins. The noise that makes. Sounds like someone dragging something across here. Um, and then let's get two barrel bins. There's one. And then, why don't we stick another barrel bin? Does that actually go nowhere? That goes nowhere. Let's not put this here. Let's put a barrel bin. Hmm. Put one there. And then let's get some, what we call, village heart bins. So, we know there's a lot of... Right, because we've got a food stand there, it would make sense to put a bin there. And then because we've got the slushy thing there. Let's there we go. Oh, damn. The magic castle has broken down. Oh, no. Goodness me. Oh, you're a fan of Roller down. Coaster Tycoon as well. Uh, so is Blitzy. I was a big I'm fan sorry. of Theme Park. I Anyone love Theme Park. Oh shit, no, no Fire refunds. We need to fix that ride and get money flowing in the right direction again. Oh, and make the guests happy, etc. Make the guests happy. Yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon was uh good, but I think it was quite serious from what I got. Like it's a, a quite a serious sim. A bit like the City Skylines we were playing a couple of weeks ago. Whereas this a bit more humorous, which is like what theme park was. Okay, go fix that ride, dude. No? Place member of staff. What? Okay. Oh, that was weird. I'm sure our new mechanic will have that ride fixed in no time. Right, is he going to it? <laughs> Not without breaking the space-time continuum, they won't. <laughs> uh. God, he's slow. Hurry up, you bastard. <laughs> No, what I'm saying is, Roller Coaster Tycoon seemed like the whole 
like you could muck around on it, but the the whole tone of the game seemed more serious because it was like like railway railroad tycoon and those type of games. It was a simulator, whereas this has like comical elements to it, like the characters and stuff. But if I'm wrong about that, then tell me. But that was my impression. <laughs> Who's this guy? Hmm. Oh, we're back up and running. Nice. It walks away whistling. <laughs> well, now that our emergency has been dealt with, the mechanics can spend their time inspecting the rides and reducing the chance of another breakdown. Nice. Now, I think it's high time you built a staff room for our staff. Okay. So that they can have a bit of a break. Okay, let's do that then. I mean, do they really need to? <laughs> yes, you see, staff are a lot like cellular phones. No, wait, I've tried that one before. <laughs> anyway, just <laughs> like guests... Running a business is a hard work. Well. That is... And if they get too tired, they simply won't be able to work. <laughs> Staff it was a very serious roller coaster. Theme park. Pirate Fortress staff building. Well, uh, look at that. It's even got a cannon on top of it. Right, now where the hell are we going to put that? I think we'll have to put that here. There we go. Look at a little cannon. Boom. And now that we have a staff room, the vendors in our shops will be taking breaks too. Okay. So... You should hire some extra vendors to fill in for them. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Right. More staff. Okay. Vendors. So I need, what, two? I've got three shops, so maybe two more staff. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Two more staff. Okay. Oh, gosh. You've got so many people working for you that there might not be enough space in the staff room anymore. You're joking. You'd better increase the staff room's capacity just in case. Right. I have a staff building with a capacity of at least five. So, select staff room. Oh, hang on, we're in the wrong menu. That would help. Edit building. Staff building. Capacity. It's going to cost me an extra 50 quid. I don't know. It's a bit harsh, in it? I know, Planet Coaster, all we've got is two bloody rides and a chip shop. Look at you. Oh, you're a no, it should be a two, right, we're already an hour into a two-hour stream and we haven't built a roller coaster. Soon, you'll be hiring entertainers to lift <laughs> the spirits of your guests and hiring security guards to deal with pickpockets and ne'er-do-wells and, well, partly to stop Lucy constantly cutting in line. You can worry about A chip shop is the most important part of the thing, but I think so. Okay, so I've now got silver award, so I've got to reach a gold and then that's this level done and then you move on to the next level, so. Goodness, just look at how you've grown the park. Ooh, look it's at that. It's like shit. Acorns. Don't eat them. That's not it. Anyway, just time for a few final management lessons before... This is I really pushing Series X. I mean, the world. fan on this is going mad. You know, the, the, the graphic capability on this game is going to mean that um, my Series X might actually explode. Or not. Uh, you can use the park management screens to monitor your park operations. Finances. This will show you where the park is losing and making money. Attractions and shops. Here you can see how your attractions and shops are performing. Staff. You can check up on the staff. Make sure they're happy. Make sure they're not too uh, overloaded with work. 
and research is where you can invest in research to gain access to new attractions, facilities, or scenery. Chippy chips. What about garlic chips? <laughs> Fuck this to be at me. Garlic choppy chips on pirate ships. Just drop. Don't drop the bits. Now there you go. these first few of the last <laughs> few lessons. <laughs> will mostly be focusing on finance. Which is why I'll be handling them. You can get started by looking at the overall finances of the park in the finance section of park management. Come on, money's a-wasting. Okay. Fuck out, I wish I had 11 grand right now. I'm making 11 grand. <laughs> this is my happy place. Just look at all those fiscals. You can get a very solid idea of how your park's finances are doing here. And look I'm making a profit each month. Your rides are doing well. But I think your shops could be doing better. Park cash is going Nothing down, though. Attractions and shops panel. Cash flow is going up and down. Rides and tickets is going, averaging up. Shops and facilities. Construction costs have been a bit. Okay, let's have a look. Shops and as facilities. You can see, this section gives you an overview of how your shops and facilities are doing. Ah, and as I thought, you could definitely stand to raise your food and drinks prices by a half dollar or so. Okay. Happy guests don't mind paying a little extra. Here we go. Let's put the prices you could also up. So raise the prices of ATMs, toilets, even the first aid facilities. A garlic theme but park. A good idea you could have like a giant garlic clove being the mascot That's dancing around. Enough. That'd be hilarious. You could have a French character going around just going, Galique! Couldn't you? That, that'd that be amazing. I don't think I've ever had ever anything with ginger. Not like ginger beer, ginger biscuits. Man! You would not go to that theme park. Oh, well. <laughs> Your loss. Uh, right. Oh, one of the shops is missing a vendor. That's not good. Right. So, I need to raise the price of three items by at least 50 pence. So, we'll go to the burger shop. Edit building. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, here we go. One percent of people need to go to the loo after eating a burger. That's good to know, isn't it? Right, let's put the price up. Where will I put the price up? Okay, we could put the burger up. There's an extra large burger. And we're going to put that up by 50 cents. Or I could have the normal burger. Whoops. Which is now £8.50. That's a lot for a burger, but, you know. That's five guys for you. <laughs> Okay, right, now let's go to... Where's my little drinks? That's my toilet. Didn't I have a pirate? Uh, one. No. What done with that one, then? I've got this one. Which is the... Slushy shop. Slushy looks too busy. Really? Here we go. Um, a pink slushy. Oh, all the slushies are going to go up by. So uh, going to be seven quid for yes, a slushy. That's yes. It's hardly a yes. Yes. Excellent. Seeing a bit more profit, which means that I get to interrupt you for once. We should put some of that money into researching our own. Where's the other one? After all. Guests eventually tired. Ah, oh, Leighton Weston. So Hello, sir. Thank you for the follow. Service. Is essential if you followed on Facebook. Layton, I haven't seen you in donkey's oh years. How are yes. you? You should begin research at once. It's really cool adding the, the Facebook stuff to this. I've had quite a few Facebook follows, which is pretty sound, as I say. Um, right, let's just edit this one. This is just a soda. So we're going to put the normal uh, sodas like a guava. You want a guava, man? I've never had a guava drink, I don't think. A zero calorie drink, such so your diet. And then, like, a giant one. There you go. 
Right. Uh, we're going to research. We're actually going to build a roller coaster, folks. Garlic ice blast. I just don't see that working, mate. Seriously. Uh, yeah, don't go to five guys, whatever you do. I want a slush puppy. What about a puppy slushy? Tango Ice is all right, but I don't think they're uh, sponsored. This game's not sponsored by that, so I don't think that'll be allowed. Right. Research and development. Research. New research. I came off the roller coaster and stayed for the garlic. <laughs> uh, yeah, you go, yeah. <laughs> or, you know when you go, like, instead of, um, like, a log flume, where you dip the bottom and you get covered in water, you go down like the roller coaster and you just get covered in garlic spray. It basically just burns your eyes. <laughs> that could work. That could work. Right, let's have a look at a roller coaster. Can we have a food stream where Mag just tries garlic foods? Just looking at Lizzie because we are doing our first ever food stream tomorrow. She pulled a funny face. I, I don't think that's what we're There might be foods with garlic in them. Oh, yeah, Lizzie likes garlic. I don't know if you heard that. Said that. So that, that's a possibility. Um. The American Arrow. Does that sound like a roller coaster? Yes, we're doing Japanese Valentine related snacks tomorrow. That's what we're doing at midday. It's our first ever, first ever food stream. Don't even get me started on that, Lizzie. I'll tell you later. She's wa waving like a thing in, the, uh, and she's like, where's the rest of this? We've had a delivery and half of it's missing. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, they are horrible just for the entertainment value. Uh, there are going to be some of the snacks are going to be. Pre I'm not going to say what they are. We know what they are because we've done the research into them. Some of them are really like sweet candy things, which are going to be absolutely fine. But there's a few on the list that we're just like. And what's funny is one of them, I'm quite worried about. Think it's going to be horrible. And she said, and "You're worried about that one when we've got to try and eat these ones." So we'll see what happens. Uh, it'll be fun. But we'll have different things. But the whole thing is Valentine's because it's Valentine's next week. It's Valentine's based. Uh, no, we're all going to try the same thing. I I'm not going to do that. There's no fun in there. Um, I'm not going to say Foxy, but you're on the right tracks. Oh, yeah. Hale would like to send us some Irish snacks to try. That we'd give it. We'd give a go. We'd definitely give that. And uh, Foxy could just package a whole like thing of garlic and send it over. <laughs> Right, here we go. Going to build a roller coaster. But yeah, tune in tomorrow at midday to uh, watch us try out some things. I think there's about 20 plus items. There's quite a lot we're going to try out in the two hours. So anyway, let's have a look at the overview. Staff. So we need to... Good. See, if a staff member is unhappy, then they won't be as effective at their job. And if they're really Well, there's two that are tired. They might even quit entirely. Anyway, okay. I think it's high time we gave some of our staff a raise, don't you? No. <laughs> that wasn't directed at you, Cynthia. We tried. So we've tried potato, ain't we? Staff members aren't as happy I'm not doing a stream for two hours and eating potatoes. So, bump the ridges up a notch or two. Jesus. Now, if you give me different types of chips, because we were eating masala cheesy chips last night. They're cool. So different kinds of things. A two-hour potato stream. Jesus Christ. I might as well just peel the potatoes for you, won't I? While we're on it. <laughs> Have a potato. Right, here we go. So we're going to give staff a pay rise. Does it say how much by? Increase the salary of five members. Right, okay. Well, let's do that then. Well, we've only got five staff members, haven't we? There you go. An extra five dollars a day. Because I'm very generous like that. Ash browns, crisps, mash, potato waffles, roast potatoes, caramelised potatoes, potato heating speed run, um, lettuce fries, um, boiled potatoes, Potato salad. 
We can think of things with potatoes. I'm sure we could. Waffles, yeah. <laughs> Garlic bread potato. <laughs> could work. Jacket potatoes with different fillings in. There's about 500 things you could do with that. Barbecued roasted potatoes. I've done potatoes on a fire. I haven't done barbecued roast potatoes. That could work. Yay, little diss is back. How you gob? Did they, they wire it shut? Or did they just pull your teeth out? You can now speak like this because all your teeth will come out. What happened? What happened? Tell us. We'd like to hear. I don't know what I'm doing now. I've lost... Ish initiate training for two staff members. Right, we're going to get staff members back. Little diss in the mix. Yeah, you've heard a little mix. We've got little diss. Spelt like that anyway. <laughs> Not my words. Blitzes. Right. I'm going to put people on training. Who am I going to train? And how, how do I train them? All staff. Oh, train. Right. Train level. Boom. And... Once there you go. That was easy. I was they'll soon toddle off to the staff building I'll diss in the mix. And Spoke like that anyway. Uh, it's great. First you cook them for a bit. Oh, yes. Then they're almost you done. Then you spice them up. You usually put salt and pepper. Most then you wrap them in aluminum foil and put them on the barbie. Training, nice. You with best boss mugs in no time. If this game was real, you'd have to furlough all these workers. <laughs> building roller coasters. Oh, my, oh, my. They're expensive things, but a theme park isn't a theme park without one. I oh know, we haven't got Routine? a road. Take it away. Right. Take what away? Oh, I understand. If you could reveal the newly researched coaster blueprint, please. Okay, so they've done the research. Reveal research. This could be called the American Arrow. Here we go. Well, that was needlessly over the top. <laughs> oh, but that is quite an exciting... One out of ten game needs more garlic. That could easily hit 4.28 on the Eugene Thrill rating scale. And now that you have a new coaster type, you can place coaster... This theme park is shut <laughs> <or even laughs> shutting you down. Scratch. But you should probably walk before you... Run. I think they should do a pandemic add-on. open the coaster browser and select the blueprint. Okay. Right, so... We're going to build a roller coaster. Let's go this way. There it is. The American Arrow. Why it's American, I don't know. But there we go. And Jesus. In a suitable location. Okay, well, we're going to need to build it here, aren't we? At the back. Because... <gasps> Boom. Look at that. Your first... We need an in and out though, don't we? You must feel so proud. That's the in, oh that's the out. Gosh. Out of my way. I'm going to ride that thing. Sorry, not just yet. Right, okay. You see, for while the construction of the coaster is finished, we are not. First, the coaster has to be <gasps> tested to make sure it is safe. If you could do that, please. Going to test and the I coaster. It's just about signing a safe. This should be good. Then I'm actually cool with that. Uh, one out of ten, not realistic. The uh, workers and lobby government for financial support. Little disc, do something useful and make hashtag garlic chat in the Discord. Yes, we need a garlic chat. Bigger than expected. That's what she said. I know. Right, okay. We're going to test this coaster. The ride isn't accessible. Oh, there it goes. Let's watch this go round. There's no one in it. Wait for it. Boom. Going to do a loop. There we go. And you got like a twist.
Your data are absolutely shocking, Discord. Is that what's happening? That's why we can't see you. Oh, there you go. A couple of twists. And they come back round. Does another twist. Here we go. And then that's it. Boom. Done. Right. So we're going to build an entrance. So it's ride isn't accessible. Okay. Well, now, looking at the telemetry data, the fear and nausea ratings are well within tolerable levels for guests, which means this ride is perfectly safe. Of course, that was to be expected with a prefabricated blueprint ride. When you build coasters from scratch, things can go differently. differently. Okay. When you've connected it up to the rest of the park, you can open the coaster. Okay, right. Eugene. What? Again, apologies. Open the coaster! <laughs> Alright, so, what we're going to do is build the paths. And we're going to need... Let's have a look. What do we want? We want an entrance, don't we? We want a queue. Let's go with this. So this is the queue. Now, can we lower the terrain on this? How do you do that? Oh, look at that. Okay. Boom. So that's that bit done. And then we're going to put a path to the exit. Um, so. We'll keep it blue. Here we go. And then... Another, and then we're going to lower it. Boom. So that is now done. Got your entrance and your exit. And then we select the ride. And we're going to make it open. Much better. Look at that. No garlic was hurt while making this coaster. That is very true. You should adorn the track with plenty of wonderful... No worries, Discord. Give the guests something exciting and unique to see as they whiz around those twists and turns. All right. And, of course, scenery will also improve the, the ride's prestige. prestige. You could use animatronics. They're extremely effective, although they will incur costs. costs. And, of course, there's all those wonderful scenery blueprints that Eugene made for you. Indeed. I really cannot overstate how long it took me to make those for you. Okay, so I need to put four bits of scenery around the area to make this more interesting. So let's do that. Uh, scenery. Right, let's have a look. Is there anything in particular that would go well? Let's start. Let's have a look. Um, what's that? Fairy tale. We need something that's got like a bit of. Uh, is there anything that's actually like goes with this coaster? Because at the moment it's a bit pirate stuff, but. Uh, Well, why don't we do a mixture of both? Because we stick a dragon. Look at this, an anim animated dragon. Right. There we go. And then move that like that. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Look at that. That looks cool. When will you make your own coaster? Uh, probably on another stream, if I play this again. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go through these because there's like a load of levels you need. Build it and they will come. I know, I know. Uh, what else could we have? Let's have like a little f fountain. <laughs> a witch's treehouse. How big is that? And what does that do? I could go there. That that look quite good. Boom. And then we'll put one more. Oh, we've got to put four more things. So, can we stick something in the actual ride? What's that? 
What else we got? A pirate animatronic harbour. Well, there is. Mm, no, maybe not. Pirate Kraken attack. I mean, that might be a bit mad. Put in. I'm not going to pay for that. That's insane. Uh, let's whack some things down here. There we go. Like a funny, haughty tree. Can that go in the middle of the. There we go. And we've got to do one more thing. So we'll stick something over this area because it's a bit quiet. This is way b better than Batman. <laughs> well, Batman's back next week. And actually, next week, there's going to be two Batman games because we're going to start doing the Telltale Batman games because we finished The Walking Dead uh, tomorrow night. It's the last Walking Dead for a while. We're going to move on to the Telltale Batman games. Don't want that. I want something else. What about fairy tale market stalls? There we go. Will you look at that? Are you sure you haven't done this before? There we go. We should Create a torture park. <laughs> by saving it as a blueprint. A blueprint is saved. Collection of objects. Blueprints can be arrangement, flowers, a row of houses, or a giant coaster. Or even all those things all together. You can save your own blueprints and creations that you might want to reuse. Or perhaps so that you can share them with other people. Ah, so you can share your designs with other people. Uh, do, 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 what else? You can also download new blueprints from the. Well, yeah, I've seen that. Okay, okay. So you'll need to multi-select everything you want to include in your blueprint. Okay. So hold A to multi-select. Oh wow! Look at that. There was a thing about you can ride some of these rides, but I don't know how you do that. Right. Now, go ah. and create a blueprint, and you'll be able to make as many copies of your coaster as you like, or at least can afford. Oh, don't forget to give your blueprint a good name and an exciting screenshot, and make sure to add any oh tags you want to it so you can find it easily later. Gotta torture all garlic haters. <laughs> right, confirm. Save blueprint as. And we're gonna call it. Middles. Garlic coaster. There you go. And I can't spell my own name. But it's going to be called the Middled Garlic Coaster. That'll do. It's close. <laughs> Enter a description. It's garlic. There we go. It's garlic. Say blueprint. Now that Done. you've made a blueprint, you'll find it in the coasters browser. But... There's also somewhere even more exciting. The workshop. The workshop, okay. You see, blueprints are a lot like sandwiches. You can share them with other people, and they contain pickles. No, that's not it. But just Garlic the synonymous. Sharing your blueprints with the world. <laughs> Middle spark. With the world sharing what they've built right back. That's what the workshop can do for you. Whew. Well. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? I think it's time you enjoyed the fruit of your labours by riding your coaster, <laughs> don't you? Go on. It's been three days since my last piece on. of garlic. Oh, we can ride the coaster. This is going to be fun. Use the ride camera in seat mode for 20 seconds. So how do I do that? Uh, ride camera. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Here we go. Let's go. Wait for it. Oh. 
Let's hide those panels so we can... Up we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Unlike the guests, you can get off the coaster whenever you like. You know, just in case you're feeling a little bit wobbly in the tub tub. Wait for it. Oy. There we go up. And then a twist. I bet this would be quite good in VR, I reckon. There we go. Oy. Anyone dizzy yet? All right, one last one. Here we go. Oy. Look at that. That was cool. Oh, and I got an achievement. I'd slap you on the back, but you looked a wee bit queasy. <laughs> Even so, I think you're ready to start your no doubt illustrious career in park management. What wonderful news. Because it means you can start paying back the time and effort that Oswald invested in you. And if you would let me, I would dearly love to teach you the intricacies of building a coaster from the ground up. Oh, or ground down if it's subterranean. Ooh, and a subterranean roller coaster. coaster. The season pass gives me free entry anyway. Oh, and to watch you uh, grow as a manager, obviously. There we go. Not that you haven't grown already. Just look at this park. At your park. Full of happy guests. Making precious but reasonably priced memories. You should be proud of yourself. But this is just the start. Are you ready for the next step? So that's cool. So that's like the first level completed. That's not bad. Oh, and I got another achievement. There you go. Rank two, whatever that is. Now, I don't seem to have got a gold... Oh, yes, I did get a gold star. There's bronze, silver and gold. So I completed it. All right, let's, let's, we've got half an hour left. Let's let's do the next level. Let's see where this takes us. Exit to main menu. Okay. Nice. Hashtag team here. Hashtag screw garlic. <laughs> Thank you very much. It says I got three out of six. What what have I not completed there then? Oh, because I've not done this one. So what's this one then? Coaster testing facility. A safe space outside. Oh, right. Let's try this then. I've got to finish this off yet. Burn him. I spent 16,800 mojo bites last night trying to tell the world about the horrors of garlic. And it failed. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, here we go. This looks interesting. Welcome to our roller coaster development facility. Here, you can learn about, build, and test coasters to your heart's content. All without okay. having to worry about finances and whatnot. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Oh. I think Cynthia has found some kind of tax <laughs> loophole. Right, I'll leave you in Eugene's capable hands. There is literally nothing... Oh, my God. Here we coasters. go. This Thank looks, you, this Thompson. looks cool. You are quite correct. And yet love, however, remains a mystery. When guests ride a coaster, their experience will be determined by how exciting it is, how much fear it causes, and how much nausea they experience during the ride. You can see these ratings in the testing tab. Okay. Select a ride. Well, I'm going to look at this. This yellow one's... Yeah, okay, let's look at this one then. Right. This ride isn't accessible. Look at those little faces. <laughs> the happy face is excitement. The higher the number, the better. The scared face is fear. The best rides are scary, but not too scary. The <laughs> <scared> <laughs> it's how many people are going to throw up. No one likes being sick. Okay. So keep this as low as possible. Hashtag Team Garlic and shall reign supreme. The green face means the rating is very good, and your ride will have higher prestige. That's the target we're aiming for. 
An amber face means the rating is just all right, mm. and the ride will have less prestige. And then a red rating That's is probably awful. That's the target probably hit a lot of the time. <laughs> a red face means the rating is very poor. And Standard for this channel, me, I think. And that's mods like get missing all the targets mods and get shooting yourself in the picked foot. on. <laughs> so, what determines or me. excitement, fear, and nausea values? Well, they result from the <laughs> gravitational forces experienced by guests as the coaster changes direction and speed. These are called G-forces. Okay. When you're ready, deselect the test coaster. Okay. First, some basics. Every coaster needs a station where guests can get on and off. Makes sense. Different coaster types allow for different methods of propelling their trains. The most common the chug, chug, is chug. the chain lift to raise the coaster train up so that when it cracks the top of the hill, gravity pulls it down and whooshes it around the track. Traveling down the first drop, Whoosh. the train will normally reach its fastest speed. It's a great way to start building excitement. <laughs> Left and right turns in the track cause lateral G-forces that induce nausea in guests. By banking the track as it turns, you can change the force from lateral to vertical, pushing the rider down into their seat and making the turn a lot more comfortable. Cresting hills that generate just enough upward Air time. force will make guests feel like they're rising up out of their seats. This feeling of weightlessness, called airtime, provides maximum... We have my hashtag Team Garlic is unstoppable. With just the right amount of fear, too. Maybe we should get sponsored by some Finally, garlic company or something. Is complete as the track connects to the other side of the station. It's important that the I know, this is like proper science, in it? Station, ...but not so much that it has to break suddenly, causing nausea. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? That's what Blitz said. You can always select one of the markers dotted around the test coaster for more detailed reference information. Gathered via exhaustive experimentation and at least one plumbing related incident. <laughs> okay. View a pop up marker. Look at all that high quality information. I really do spoil you. Okay. Once you've taken everything on board, simply close this marker and we'll continue. Okay. That concludes the non-interactive portion of my presentation, for which you will now receive a bronze star. Nice. Very okay. Nice. Okay. Right. That's good. Now, if you could head over to the highlighted area, we'll move on to the interactive portion. Okay. Good news! It's finally time to get your hands dirty, uh, metaphorically, obviously, and construct your very own... Oh, okay. Now, it's probably a good idea to start out by trying to copy the test coaster. After all, its design is simple but effective. You can start by opening the coaster browser and selecting a coaster to build. Luckily, there's a coaster in there that's just perfect for our needs. So, let's build that one. The DGEN. Speci uh, specifically designed for inversions. Right, place a station. I want to put the station. Oh. Don't want it that high up, do we? Now okay. that the station's down, you'll need to place pieces of track one by one. Hey Lou, how you doing? Create a circuit. Start by building a chain lift <laughs> high into the air, then switch to standard <laughs> track music and create a thrilling ride. Some of the stuff in the, the chat's hilarious. There are plenty of other options for you to explore in the settings, but I'm oh, good, thanks Lou. How are you? Have the fun of experimenting. Plus, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm due a union mandated cup of tea. Okay, construct a coaster. No, that's the wrong button. How do we go up? Oh, chain lift. No, want to go... Hold his length. How do you go up? 
Or is that the idea that this one's like a speed coaster? Standard track. Ah, okay. Oh, God. No. Why won't let me that go up? Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's like build something really high, like ridiculous. That would basically just make you shit yourself. Let's go. Let's do like a really horrible vertical drop. <laughs> what a direction. Yes, thank you. And then can we twist it? Yeah, let's put a loop right near the bottom. Oh, God, that's going to kill someone. Right, here we go. Then let's twist it. Right. And then we're going to go up. And then down. And then we'll go straight. And then we'll get another chain. Uh, drive tyres. Friction brakes. Let's then try and get a standard track to go up twist twist down this is quite fun actually building these things this is quite I need that to come up it won't let me no not that way that's it Twist it down. Gonna go up, up. No. Track limits exceeded. Oh God. I'm gonna be upside down. Man, don't, me, we can't have this. I know, oh, I'm, hopefully it'll be all right. We'll test it and hopefully it'll be quite amazing. Hopefully. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I'm gonna come back around now. Because I think that'll make people want to vomit. Now, it's t currently upside down, so we need to get that the right... We need to get that... No, down. 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 No, back the other way. Oh, God, I've gone that way. Uh, it'll bring it this way. That's it. No, that way. Up. No, missed. Shit. Go back. How'd you? No. How'd you connect that to that? Or don't you? No, you don't. Uh. Get rid of that. How'd you get rid of? Uh, hang on. Get rid of that bit. What's happened here? Look, that, that's not going to work, is it? Can we get rid of... Oh, no! You're kidding me! You just kept, got deleted the whole coaster. Son of a bitch! Well, that's no fun. I only wanted to get rid of the one bit of track. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, you bastard. Right, here we go.
Let's try again. Right, let's do this. Right, here we go. Let's make this proper. I'm the only one that doesn't have an earned role. I feel like I pay to join the club. How do you mean? I'm going to have to rebuild it. Screw, screw this. Right. That's it. Right. Let's make... Oh, God, no. No, no, no. Not that way. I know, like, do that thing where it just teases people and then it goes... And then it goes drops. Popcorn. Oh, he's the only non-mod VIP in it. Well, there are people lurking. Uh, Baz that followed earlier. Oh, I can't go that way. He was in earlier. He was in the chat. What's wrong with this? Oh, I'm out of the park. Right. Delete. Okay. We've got to go down like this. Going to make you shit your pants here. Don't worry, Lou. It'll happen. It will happen. Because we've got nine more VIPs to dish out. Don't you worry, my friend. Yeah, can I do a twist? No. No, not that way. Oh, yeah, I could do that. That's going to make people sit to the back teeth, isn't it? Last down here now. Down. Oh no, not that way. No, that ain't gonna work. Now, they're upside down at the moment, <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. If there's no loot, I'm not going to be happy. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Right, hang on then. Let's do... No, back a bit. It's actually really difficult to... There you go. Here's your loot. I'm making you a loot, all right? Get ready for it. Gonna end with a loop, because right. I need to go down a bit. Now why does it do that? It always misses. Am I not the right height? Up, up. Yes! Look at that. Track. That would derail. Leave you the purse to offer you my warmest congratulations. <laughs> Do a vote, will middle accidentally delete this coaster? Oh, got me silver. Right, we've got to ride this thing now. So, now you've built a coaster track, that means you need to test it and see how it fares. But before you, <laughs> you should familiarise yourself with the tools you can use okay. to analyse its performance. Okay. Select the testing tab of your new coaster. Okay. As well as the start test option, the testing tab has three sets of data that provide essential feedback from your test. Okay. Live data, results, and heat maps. Yeah, and? 
<laughs> My data displays information about the ride as it happens. The data is color coded. <laughs> in the so chat for everyone who will die. <laughs> I will get in the coaster in a minute. I will do it first. Don't worry. I will ride it. I will. Don't worry. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do this bit first. Results give you a fascinating insight into the ride as a whole. There's all sorts of interesting data in there. Heat maps let you view data directly on the track, allowing you to pinpoint issues. Oh, don't worry, you're going to get a front row thing in, you can choose in a minute. Type of information you want the heat map to visualize. I mean, look at that beauty. That's going to make you vomit right. it when out your eyeballs, isn't it? Start a test. Right. Okay. So don't got worry, you can stop and start this test at any point. But more incredibly, you can actually edit your coaster track while a test is running. <laughs> okay. Heaven. Imagine being on one of the trains while that was happening. Oh, and don't forget, you can switch heat maps between E. I know. And well, I'm going to run the, the coaster first to test it, nausea, well make sure it don't come off the tracks, and then I'm going to get on it. Coaster is performing. Right. Here we go. Off I go. Live data. Up it goes. Right. Go. Sorry about the. Uh, here we go. Oh, terrible with the camera. Sorry, I'm a bit. Right, I'm going to come round this way. So we can see it. Wait for it. I did a fake thing, so they go down. Here it goes. Boom. Round, up, 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 up. Oh, it went. It went. Look at that. That, my friend, it is works. What we call a train, aka the spew choo choo. Your nausea rating is off. The spew choo train. Check that your train nice. isn't making any sudden changes of direction at high speed. Because that's a sure excitement to make riders ill. Oh, and make sure to bank into your turns to eliminate my ride is too scary and my ride is too nauseating. Oh, I can ride it, can't I? Here we go. Let's check this out. Get ready to die. Oh. Oh, fake shit. And then... Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. You're upside down for a fair bit. <laughs> I like scary rides, but even I wouldn't get on that thing. <laughs> Make sure your drops and turns aren't so severe and think about adding some gentle stretches. Gentle stretches. So your riders can calm down between the scary bits. We're going to go again. Why not? I christened the Thomas the Stank Engine. <laughs> Gonna puke up in the thing. Wait for it. Let me go again. Here we go. Wait for it. It's the bit where it goes upside down. It's just messed up. Wait for it. Here we go. <laughs> One corner. Oh dear. Good heavens, add some excitement. More speed, more turns. Oh, and don't forget hills to add air time. Many Everyone guests think D Gen 4 is way too scary. Uh so I've basically gotta make it. Right, so if I look at the facts and figures. Uh, excitement's got to be around about 5.5. It's hitting around about a 3.65. Fear's got to be between 3 and 6. Oh, I've got that. Fear's good. Oh, God, the excitement goes insane. Greater than 5.5, so it does that. Nausea has got to be low, so that's the problem. It's the nausea. Clearly there are still <laughs> some tweaks to be made in okay. order to hit those EFN ratings. Keep at it. So what we want to do then is maybe, just maybe, oh, it's that bit that's going to kill people in it. 
do you think we should um, take this? Let's let's make another bit. Let's make another bit. Right, come out. If I um, right, how do I edit coaster? Sadly, your coaster didn't manage to finish a complete circuit. My advice is to make sure that the first drop is big enough to generate enough momentum to carry the train all the way round to the station. Although, you may need to revisit other aspects of the design too. How do I get rid of that bit? New section. So if I get rid of this... Um Okay, that's it, that's it. Get rid of that. Right, okay, let's rebuild. We're going to make, make it longer. Straight to the moon. No. No. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, it's going to send another one. Oh, that's going to keep happening. Okay, it's a good thing it's a test. Um... I just need to get rid of these bits, but it won't let me. Oh, there you go. So you have to click on it. No. Select it. Do that. No. Oh, it's a pain in the ass to delete stuff. Select. Delete. There we go. Oh, it's deleted the old bloody coaster again. What the f Simulator 3000 would have been amazing. So my first impressions of Planet Coaster. Playing the levels, absolutely fantastic. The game, I really enjoyed it. I enjoy the humour and I love it all. However, that part thing, like you're saying to me, it connected, it connected. It didn't, it was not doing it. And every time it was moving it by bits, the controls are so fiddly, it needs to be on a mouse and a keyboard. Um, so the building of the stuff is shocking um, but the main game is fine and we played the main game for about an hour and a half and I really like that so I'd carry on playing the game I wouldn't do the sandbox stuff they need to sort that out for this it's too inaccurate uh, and uh, yeah let's see if I can rage quit another game tonight I shall see you tonight have fun and I shall see you very soon take care Enjoy the start of your evening or the start of your afternoon or your morning, wherever you may be. Bye.